lords and ladies, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and law. Those versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Well, hello, Can I get a huzzah? Oh, 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 Attended hard, if even here to land. We're gonna tell a tale with once upon a time at the start, and there's a happily ever after at the end. Say, Mr. Smythe. Yes, Mr. Jones. What story shall we play or play today? Ah, uh, today we shall render upon these boards an adventure that is most hair-raising. Well said, Mr. Smythe. For today we tell the timeless tale of Tango. It's a very special tale of a very special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it, makes her mind a two percent. She can make her wish come true. It may be awfully hard to do, but with imagination, some courage and determination. If she can conquer all her fears and trepidation, well then she just might make it through. For all the world is a stage, my friend. Attend and hard to keep the air to land. And here's one thing on which you can depend. We're gonna make a little magic if you want to your part. We can create a little chronicle of courage and art. We're gonna tell a tale with once upon a time at the start. And there's a happily ever after at the end. Happily ever after at the end. Thank you, lords and ladies, and welcome to the Royal Theater. To help us tell our story today, we have two special guests. Two special guests? Yes. Who's on first? A young lady with golden locks. <gasps> Goldie locks and her three dancing bears! No, no, we do not have three dancing bears. Only two! No! Just one. No, there are no dancing bears! The lords and ladies presenting Goldie locks and no dancing bears! One moment, please. Hey, 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 take me to the dancing bears. <laughs> There's a papa, a mama, and a baby. No, there are no dancing bears and no Goldilocks. So you said a young lady with golden locks. Yes, Rapunzel. Rapunzel doesn't have any dancing bears. No, she's our first guest. Our first guest. Yes. Who's on second? That is the question. I can hardly wait. Lords and ladies, it's time to give a warm welcome to our first royal guest. The one. The only. The one and only. Rapunzel. We're honored to be in your presence today. And we're most delighted you've accepted our invitation to join us in a live performance of your story. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, who better to help us tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Now remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. Should you wish to know to stand, we shall show you. Should you want to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for the most outstanding performance by a player in a leading role, drama or comedy, we shall kneel before you in humble gratitude. I'm sure you will both be wonderful. Very well, then. Are you ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time, there was a radiant young lady named Rapunzel. Who lived at the top of the tall, tall tower. From the time I was just a baby, my mother never allowed me to go outside. Each day as Rapunzel gazed out her tower window, she wondered, when would her life begin? My dream was to see the floating lanterns that appeared in the night sky every year on my birthday. But today, like every other day, Rapunzel's daydreams were interrupted by the sound of a familiar voice. Rapunzel! Mother Gothel? Let down your hair! Oh, uh, let me undo that for you. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have no idea how long it takes to braid this. Ah, uh, but of course. Stunt hair, please. Ooh, what's that? That 
that is a theatrical representation of your head. Oh, I love the theater. Rapunzel, I'm waiting. I'm coming, Mother. Obediently, Rapunzel lowered her hair so that Mother Gothel could easily ascend the steep tower hall. It should be noted by all in attendance that Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Oh, Mr. Jones! Because for magic hair! Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel! The fairy stopped them all! Oh, oh, my. Rapunzel! Oh, oh. Ah, princess. Rapunzel, Mummy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mr. Smite sings your magic song? Flower, gleam, and glow. Whenever I sing the magic song, my hair began to shimmer and glow. And when it glowed, it covered the Gothel Young with its special healing powers. As Gothel brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away. Like sand through the hourglass, that's what the days of our lives. Thank you, my dear. Oh. Ah, princess. Thank you, my dear. Now give me my mirror. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look! You're here, too. Oh. Realizing this might be her last opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask. Mother, I was wondering, I mean, since it is my birthday tomorrow, would you please take me to see the floating lantern? It's my only birthday wish. Absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, ah, sorry. Samuel, flower, gleam, and glow. Let your power shine. Make the clock be first. The battle wants of mine. <laughs> I told you the world is a dangerous place for the tropians and bugs. And that's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful tower. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Seriously, Sam, flower, glow, power, shine. Clock be first. Mind my mind. Ta da! <laughs> For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, 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 ever leave this tower. Ever! <laughs> Trust me, Rapunzel, Mother knows best! <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lanterns, so she did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed for the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing the tower. A stranger! As the young man hauled himself up into a tower room. Lords and ladies! A honey huzzah for Flynn Rider! Huzzah! Ah! Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl just knocked out a climbing stranger would do! <laughs> After that, she went through his belongings, found a royal crown, and hid it. Now, surely I can convince him to take me to see the floating lantern. What Rapunzel didn't know was that the crown was stolen. Flynn was a wanted man. Look, Blondie, there is no way that I will ever, 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 ever take you to see the floating. Okay, I'll take you to see the lanterns. Anything to get that crown back. And so Rapunzel let down her hair. And down the tower they climbed. Okay, well, this isn't weird. Climbing down hair. As they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as Flynn. Flynn Rider. <clears throat> And before Rapunzel could say, oh, here, Brush Flynn. Their feet were on the ground and they were off and running on their new adventure. I can't believe I did this. This is so fun. I just hope we don't run into any ruffians or thugs. Hoping to end this adventure as quickly as possible. And avoid being arrested by the royal guards, Flynn said, Hey, are you hungry? Because I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snubbly Duckling Tavern. Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. Hello. Oh, would you look at this bunch? This is a mean looking bunch of ruffians and thugs. Look at that guy. Never trust anyone with a mustache. Especially a milk mustache. Don't let the princess dress fool you. I think I've seen her on the kingdom's most wanted list. Definitely. You know, you think you'd be a whole lot safer if we just turned you around and got you back home. What do you say, Blondie? Back to your tower and get that crown. Ex Excuse me. Are you Flynn Rider? Do I look like Flynn Rider? What do you think? Does he look like Flynn Rider? Yeah. Come on! He's so Give me back my stranger! I need him to take me to see the floor.
floating lanterns. It's my dream. Well, don't let him you yeah. have a dream. I had a dream once. I've got a dream. I've got a dream. See, I ain't as cruel and vicious <laughs> as I seem. Thank you. There's more. Though I do like making fevers, you can tell me with the dreamers. Like everybody else, I've got a dream. Uh I got a dream! Well, take it away, Tyler Ruffian! I got scars and lumps and bruises, but something here that it And that's not even mentioned, my complexion. But despite my extra toes and me goiter and me nose, I really want to make a love connection. He's got a dream! He's got a dream! I've got a dream! He's got a dream! I just want to see the floating lanterns And we can't be passing hours, I'm so glad you left the tower. I call you love with go, she's on a dream. Just way down deep inside, we've got a dream. Yeah! Suddenly, without warning, came a brand new character nobody had ever seen. <laughs> well, I've seen him. It's Maximus, a horse from the Royal Guard, and he's after me. <laughs>
and it's warm and real and bright, and the wind is All at once, everything is different now that I see you. Yes, we created as a chronicle of fairy and art. We will a fairy tale once upon a time. 